Hi, I'm Chris Bezer, Sales Associate and Market Analyst for Caldwell Banker Saul Needles Real Estate in Cape May, New Jersey. I'd like to welcome you to your quarterly market report for the fourth quarter of 2011. Also included in this newsletter, you'll also see a review for the entire year of 2011. I'd like to take a minute to point out that once again, Caldwell Banker is number one in all categories across the board for the year 2011. We were the number one office in listing side sold. We were the number one office in sales side sold. We were also listing uh, number one office for both listing and sales dollar amounts for the year 2011. All of this data was compiled by the Cape May County Association of Realtors as available on their website. And this is for the Cape May market area for Cape May, West Cape May, and Cape May Point. Now on to the quarterly market report for the fourth quarter of 2011. The average sales price in town dipped a little bit for the fourth quarter, going down to 492,000 as opposed to 545 in the third quarter of 2011. This is also down from the $730,000 average price in the fourth quarter of 2010. A little bit of this is the lack of higher end transactions during the last two quarters, where in 2010 there were several large transactions that took place, in 2011 we didn't have any. You will also notice that, however, the median sales price was at $472,000 for the quarter, which is slightly up in the third quarter, and the third quarter was up from the second quarter. So while the average price is down, the median or middle price of the homes is staying steady here in the, in the Cape May area. Also, looking at the number of days on market for both condos and single family homes in the Cape May market area, you'll notice that they are both down from the third quarter of 2011, while single family homes remain on the market an average of 231 days, and condos remain on the market an average 255 days. For condos, that number is also down from a year ago, while single family homes, that number is up slightly. Using the current supply we have on the market and the average days on market, we currently have a 2.3 year supply of condos on the market and a 1.8 year supply of single family homes. This is actually a flop from the third quarter of 2011, but both of them remain around a two year supply, which again, anything under two years remains a steady market for the Cape May area. Another good factor for the fourth quarter is that both single family and condo townhome average sales prices or sales to list price uh, were up again. The condos are 91% of list to at sales price and single family homes were 89% of list to sales price. The condos stayed steady matching 91% for the third quarter of 2011 as while well, single family homes were up from 83% of a list to sales price in 2011. The markets of West Cape May and Cape May Point remained pretty quiet for the fourth quarter of 2011 as they were in the third quarter of 2011 with only seven transactions in Cape May Point and five transactions in West Cape May for the fourth quarter of 2011. If you add those to the 40 transactions we had in the Cape May market for the fourth quarter, that well exceeds the number from the fourth quarter of 2010, which was another big quarter for us, and it's substantially up from the third quarter of 2011. All these numbers indicate that for the last two years we had a very big and positive fourth into the first quarter of the year and things slow off again a little bit in the first and second quarter and we'll see that trend continues to happen in 2012. If you have any questions over any of the information in the quarterly newsletter or any of the market reports, please feel free to contact me at chris at capemaychris.com or as always you can reach me on my cell phone at 609-972-6927. And we'll see you again in the first quarter of 2012.